Hello everyone, definitely really excited to share with you a exciting addition to the Polar app lineup. This one is Polar Team and it makes it possible to track up to 40 students or team members live, their heart rates all instantly via one iPad. So this sort of technology has been around for years, but it's been, you know, it cost in the tens of thousands of dollars to make um, available. So it sort of was out of the realm of many schools. So this is why this is really exciting because it means that you can very, very effectively track the heart rate of um, multiple people and view all that data via one app and one iPad. It's enormous. So um, in order to make this work, you do, however, need to have um, access to a Polar H7 heart rate monitor. Now, these are brilliant. There's a lot of schools that go down the line of getting heart rate sensors and, um, you know, there's there's so many stories about them um, being uh, maybe not as effective as they, as they could be in a PE setting and, and these particular units are absolutely brilliant. Um, not only are they designed by Polar, um, but they work via Bluetooth, which means that they connect to all of your um, iPhone, iTouch, um, iPad, devices. Now what that means is there's a heap of apps out there that will use that data in meaningful ways. So not only will you get access to the Polar Team app, but there's a whole myriad of other apps that can make use of them. Um, the website that I've purchased mine from is thepolarshop.com.au and they have them on there for by far the best prices available, 77 Australian dollars um, and you can get them out and there's no minimum in how many you need to use um, the Polar Team app, but remember you can have up to 40. They currently have 10 packs on the Polar website, the polarshop.com.au website, and they are currently listed at 750 Australian dollars. So really good value in comparison to what was once, um, you know, as I said, tens of thousands of dollars. So we'll jump into the app and you can see here that once it launches for the first time, um, essentially you've got two options. You can look at a demo team and see what, what they do, or you can get started and create your own team, which is what I'm going to do. And you've got a couple of choices here. Give your team a name. Um, I'm just going to call it something very original. And I'm going to use my team logo here and say our primary sport is, um, we will say basketball and I'll press add team. And at this particular point, you can add players. Now, in a school context, this would be your students, obviously, and rather than teams, you, you might put them down as classes. Um, so I'm gonna manage players, and brings up the option for you to add people. And I've got, as you can see here, um, I can put in my first name, and I can put in my age. Now, the age will obviously allow you to work out predicted max heart rate. So I'll put in my age here. <clears throat> and I can even put in my height and weight. Put in my, because I know that. And I can get a prediction of my heart rate there by pressing that button. Now, the, the next part <clears throat> is the pairing of the heart rate device. So at this particular point, you need to have your device war and be currently wearing it. Um, so if I click, press that button that says pair heart rate sensor. It's now looking for it, it's now connected, and it's now identified my heart rate unit, which is identified by this code here. Every single student would have a different polar heart rate device and a, a different individual code. So it would obviously be desirable to have the same student wearing the same <clears throat> um, heart rate monitor each and every session, or you would just need to remove pairing and pair them with the one they're currently working at. I'm gonna press add photo and I've taken a brilliant photo of myself and there we are, I'll hit done. And I am now a player added into the list. Now I can do this with all of the people in my team, pairing them to their heart rates um, quite, quite easily. Now at this particular point in time, if we press the house button here, we can see that there are no examples of any training at all. 
that we've um, we've currently done but obviously we want to start something so we hit new session and <clears throat> you can see the screen here with the only player that's currently present that's myself um, heart rate there sitting at 85 and if we had the rest of the players added they would appear in this list so you would be able to sit here and look at the, the heart rate value that um, they're currently on however it gets better if I hit start session you can see here that it takes you to a view. I'll just go back to the screen. You can currently see that because it, because there's only one person that's being viewed, this appears really large. Um, but you can see my current heart rate and how that compares to my predicted maximum. <clears throat> if I swipe to the left, you can see that um, we have one player in our group here and um, the current heart rate percentage is 42 that's basing it on the entire group um, we've got myself and we can see my current heart rate and my current percentage and our current percentage heart rate um, being obviously 41 percent and our current percentage maximum heart rate at 45 so if you had the multitude of players there searching through this data would be extraordinary so you know you would be able to see at a snap who was working near their maximum heart rate and the average percentage of heart rate that they've they've currently worked at. You can see here my average is sitting around 40%. I would definitely need to increase that in an aerobic-based focus session. If I <clears throat> scroll across, you can see the entire team at a glance. And if I hold down on the screen and swipe my finger up, I can click and add myself to this comparison view. And if I do that with a couple of people, we can just hone in on those particular um, students with a little bigger focus and we can remove that quite easily so you can see here um, it would appear something like that you might have you know five or six people and being able to see them um, quite effectively the zones they're in and and how they're being performing unreal you can imagine having this projected up onto a screen um, you know just got one ipad here and no matter where i was inside of the an indoor area it has it is being designed to work indoors a little bit more effectively with a range of up to 60 meters the devices um, to the to the heart rate monitors um, you could get some amazing amazing data so i'm going to press pause there and end the session and i'll save it <clears throat> and you can see here you get some you get that sort of data that we were looking at before it shows you where it occurred and if we go back to our house view we can see a bar graph and obviously you'll get a much richer set of data when you've got more people and you've got them moving. Um, but we can have a look at a demo class which is the ice hockey team and you can see here that on 23rd it shows you how much time they spent in each of the different zones of intensity as identified here. That's the whole team but we can focus on one particular person, see how much time they spent exercising. Um, you can see that time in different intervals between all the different dates as you swipe back and forth and if we go into the graph view this is the demo team we can see all the players their average we can see a breakdown of that and scroll through and <laughs> take one that is some amazing absolutely amazing data um, you know here's Kyle Anderson and their heart rate graph across the course of time during that particular session um, Josh Davis and obviously as we scroll through it's really 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 impressive so um, all of that with an ipad and a couple of heart rate monitors pretty awesome at this point you can press share and you can send the a summary to the coaches and what it does is it puts it into a pdf um, format so all of the stuff that you're looking at right now into a pdf and sends it via email to the coaches and that's why you've got that email option when you create them at the start so there it is amazing app polar team it's a free app absolutely free but it does require you to have um, a polar h7 heart rate sensor now as i mentioned before they're all available at the polarshop.com.au get in while they're definitely at 77 dollars um, because that's just too good for what it enables you to do with with the heart rate monitor so Thanks for watching and hopefully you can find um, how that might fit into your PE program and look forward to seeing um, some examples of people using it in their classes um, as we progress.